Hey guys, I hope you are doing well today. I wanted to record this video real quick because I thought that it would be really, really cool to have this on the channel. Um, so a lot of people ask if I'm bullish or bearish on crowdfunding and kind of where it's going right now. And just to be honest, you know, I am really bullish on crowdfunding. I absolutely love the idea of putting money behind new and novel ideas that will really change the world and how people experience the world. I am a huge backer on crowdfunding. I've backed a ton of campaigns and I also, you know, work with creators and entrepreneurs to launch projects on crowdfunding because I still just believe in the idea so much. Um, I know a lot of people out there who are watching videos, who are maybe thinking about launching their own crowdfunding campaign. You know, a lot of people think that backers think that crowdfunding is, is a scam. And that's that's totally fair because there's a lot of articles about it. And yeah, sometimes creators don't have the best intentions at heart. And there are some people kind of like that out there. But honestly, I'm just a firm believer that most do. Most creators do have the best intentions at heart. And they see a problem and they just they just want to fix it. They just want to go out and do something about it. So and just create new solutions that help people and make the world a better place and just make it so that people experience the world in, you know, better in a better way. And if that's you, I'm all for you because guess what happened today, guys? Today the internet at my place, you know, went down, stopped working at like nine o'clock. And, you know, as someone who works from home, clearly, and as someone who works with uh, creators and entrepreneurs and, and businesses around the world, I need the internet. So I decided to get to go to my car, you know, pack everything up, go to my car and go to the library. And when I get to the car, I try to start it and boom, <laughs> it doesn't start. Right. And I'm thinking to myself, come on, I just took the car to get fixed, you know, uh, to get, you know, to go get serviced. This was exactly a month ago on September 9th. Today's October 9th, just so you guys know. And I was freaking out. I was like, what do I do? This has never happened to me before. I'm, you know, relatively new car owner. So what do I do? I think back and I'm like, oh, wait, I have a car jump starter because. I have actually worked on a project. I worked to advise these guys when they were launching, they were ready to go live, but just needed some initial validation and feedback uh, for their product before going onto Amazon and other channels. And so, you know, they wanted to launch on crowdfunding. But anyway, um, I actually have it right here. Here is the jump starter and kind of the little things that go into it and plug into the the battery and you know it starts with the car. But anyway, I actually used it. If if you guys are interested in learning more, I'll put the link down below. But anyways, I actually used it, started up the car, took the car to Toyota, and it got fixed. Everything was done within about an hour and a half, two hours, which is crazy to think that I might have had to you know call a tow truck and you know, get, you know, just wait for a tow truck, pay hundreds of dollars for that tow or just for them to come and just try to jumpstart my car or just anything else. But literally I worked on this project and helped, you know, advisor launch. And I was like, hey, this is a pretty cool thing, right? Instead of having jumper cables in the car and I have to like find another car to help jump my own car, if it the battery's dead, like might as well just have something like this in the trunk so that, if my batteries do die, which it did today, um, I can just jump my car myself, right? And I thought this was such a cool idea. Why isn't it on the market? Why is it not everywhere? Why do people still have jumper cables in the car and they have to like flag down someone to, you know, help jump their car? But anyway, so this happened today and this jumper, like this jump starter just saved my day pretty much. I got the car started and went to Toyota in like probably like 15 minutes, half an hour. There's a Toyota nearby and got everything fixed. Everything was done within two hours max. And it's insane. So sure, <laughs> there are a lot of crowdfunding scams out there. And sure, some of the projects, you know, creators don't have the best intentions and they just want to take the money and go. But, you know, out of all the projects that are out there, it's everyone wants to, you know, just make a good product and make better solutions so that people can experience the world in a better way. And I I love that. You know, I love that with crowdfunding, you get introduced to cool new products like this. 
that you don't even know about or you don't even think about. And, you know, like my sister, for example, I told her about what just happened and she said, oh, I had to do that twice in my life and I had to like get jumper cables and like flag down another car. But for me, I just had to pop the hood and just hook this thing up and start the car. And that was it. That's all I had to do. All right. So honestly, as a creator, if you're watching this video right now, as someone who wants to launch a new product, as someone who has an, an incredible idea of how to solve an existing problem in kind of like a better way than what you've seen on the market, keep going. You know, you can do it. I believe in you. I believe in your idea. And I believe that you can make a difference in, in the lives of someone, someone just like me, right? Just an everyday person who I have no knowledge of cars. And I just had this and I had a manual. There's four steps, you know, put this together, put this on your car, start your car. And, and that was it. Like that made my day. It saved my day. It made me happy. It, it's an, an incredible feeling. So if you're in a creator, if you're thinking about this new product that you think is going to change the way people experience their day, change the way people, you know, uh, just experience their, their, their life, you know, keep going. Don't give up. You're always going to be able to find an audience. You're going to be able to find people who want your product. You're going to be able to find people who are going to be, you know, like me, I'm always going to vouch for this product now, right? You're going to find people who are your true advocates. You're going to find people who love your product. You just keep going, keep creating that product, getting feedback, getting, you know, people to test and iterate on your idea, get people to tell you what they want, right? With the product idea that you already have, just keep going. Don't stop. And if you're a backer and you're just curious about this whole crowdfunding thing or a potential backer and, and curious about the whole, this whole crowdfunding thing and you're watching this, I just just don't look just don't lose faith, right? Sure, there might be some bad apples out there. There might be some bad apples in the crowdfunding space, but literally everybody I've talked to, and I've been in crowdfunding for about four years now, everybody I talk to just wants to do what's best for the world and wants to do what's best for people who can potentially be a backer, wants to do what's best for their audience. So really just don't lose faith, you know, go out there, check out new products that are cool and novel and just help support these new ideas. And if you have an idea for a product, go after it, try it out, ask what people think, try making prototypes try to get you know early versions of it made and just test it out with people ask what they think get feedback because you never know maybe you're going to be creating something like this that is just changing the game of jumping a car just jumping a car people always thought you have to have cables and you need another car to jump your car but you don't you just need a really big power bank thing and cables and boom you can do it for your own self so really don't give up. Keep going with your idea. And I'm always here to help you launch your product, launch your idea, get fully funded, and just be here for you in your corner to help you launch and just get successfully funded and just have your dreams out there in the world. So thank you for just listening to this video today. I'm just so excited because this just happened and I just had to make this video. Um, if you want to get more crowdfunding content other either like stuff that I'm I've worked on and it actually is impacting my life or just tips and tricks and hacks and information of how to launch your own product and just get fully funded you know feel free to hit subscribe and I will see you in the next video thanks guys